Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Hull City, and they take on Millwall. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, the home side know full well they've got to do an awful lot better in an attacking sense. Stuart, just look at their record. Yeah, they're struggling to create chances, let alone score goals, and I think it's a combination of many things. No cutting edge in midfield, a lack of movement from the front players, and nobody taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Hopefully it's a different story today. Here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Now, the Millwall starting 11. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And now they get the ball rolling. Benny Afobi. Ojo. Afobi has it. Mitchell. Now Saddle. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Now they've lost it. Josh McGuinness. And on the ball is Greg Doherty. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And a pass that lacks quality. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Space and time for the cross. Defensive efficiency personified. Now the pass not finding its target. Wallace. Mitchell. It's with Jed Wallace. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not out of the woods yet. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And mopping up defensively. Good-looking sequence. Leonard. Can he finish? Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get their due reward.
Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Doherty. Honeyman. Josh McGuinness. He made it look simple, really. Benny Kafobi. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. McGuinness. Honeyman. They couldn't keep it again. Getting in there to intercept. And a chance to whip it in here. It is to be a throw in. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Malik Wilkes. McGuinness. Richard Smallwood. And a bad pass it was. And breaking at pace with Menace. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Corner kick forthcoming. Who can they pick out? Wallace. Mastery of the passing game. Opportunity! That is that for the first half here. And now they get the ball rolling. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not out of the woods yet. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Wallace. A fine use of the ball. Now Saddle. Can he put it away? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? It's a short corner. It's with Jed Wallace. 
Firing it in. Body in the way. Well, it was completely miscontrolled. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Oh, moving it nicely. He could pick out a teammate. Really vital interception. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Honeyman. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And they're making a change. Who can he pick out? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Showing plenty of defensive acumen and conceding the throw-in. Smallwood. McGuinness. Honeyman. Smallwood on the ball. Well, that's not textbook defending. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Sean Hutchinson. Ryan Leonard. Jake Cooper now. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. And he takes it away. Decent position. It needs an accurate cross. A concession of a corner here. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. Both Manners deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Over it comes. Struggling to get it away. Fruitful looking attack. Bernard. Putting his body on the line. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Time for a change then. Doherty. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Now a decent position. Well, his accuracy deserted him at a crucial moment. Well, he had to score there. That's probably the game over now. Jon Daddy Birdvarsson. A oh, good idea, but overcooked. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Scott Malone. Sean Hutchinson. Keaton Bell.
Malik Wilkes. Coyle. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Louis Coyle. Will he play it in? How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And, that's... and there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, I'm not sure how they're going to change things. There's no real pace in the team. They're not playing with any invention. And they just haven't got any game changers at the moment. They never really look like getting back into this game.